Hey everyone, it's Megan with the Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be going through the changes that I have made in my B6 Rings planner and talk about how I plan on continuing to use this planner throughout the rest of the year and talk about some fun things in my rings planner. I love this thing so much. <laughs> So, like I said, this is my B6 Rings Planner. This planner came from Print Prussian, so it has a pocket in here, like a full all the way around a pocket, and then it also has pockets back here, so we've got one big one, some tiny, like, I guess, like, wallet size pockets, and then a zipper um, in the back, and then in the front it has um, more pockets. So, um, this planner is what I like to call my color blocking planner. I have been obsessed with color blocking and I just think it's so cool. So I've been trying to incorporate that more into my planning and I will show you a couple of examples of some spreads that I have done so you guys can see that. But let's go ahead and talk about what uh, this planner is, like what's inside of it. Um, if you want to see my setup of this planner, so what it looked like originally versus what it looks like now, you can check out the description box or check out the cards up here. The video will be there. I also hauled this planner and I did a setup video and I do setup videos every single month in my rings planner. So um, here is what it looks like. The, the pocket system hasn't really changed. So I have my pockets here and um, like I said, this stuff hasn't really changed like the decorations in the pockets, but I did add some new things in the actual like big pockets. So um, this is actually the cover. Where did it go? I just had my planner. There it is. The cover, this is like a laptop cover um, that I got from Amazon, and this is like supposed to be like for the like the keyboard section. Um, so I thought that this was pretty cool because it kind of matched my favorite colors. So I keep that in there with this behind it so that it like looks like that. This is one of the sign sticker studio little freebies that you get. I think this was the 2024 freebie. Um, and I just cut the sticky around it and just put a plain, um, like, so this is like what the cover looks like. Um, and then I made it into a, uh, bookmark or like a, little sticky out tab or something. So I thought that that would be cute to stick in there. And then each month I've decided that I'm going to change out my little journaling cards. So this is what I have in here for this month. At the time of me filming, it is the beginning of April. So that is why you see this uh, card here. This is from the Bunnies at Tea collection from Growing Modestly. Um, so I just keep that, whoopsie, if I can put it in there correctly. I keep that right here just for extra decoration. And then I have this little smile, worthy, less, and be thankful little card that I got from some printables. Um, I don't remember the channel's name right now, but I will put it on the screen. And I got that um, printable from Roro and Lou. Um, she shared it on her Instagram. Now, my little charm thing is the same. I think I'm going to keep it the same. I don't think I'm going to change it out. Um, I do have the spring is in the air little uh poe charm here that i could add on to it but i don't want to make the charm too full so i have a little puppy and um the donut that's the same thing now we're going to get into the sections so the last time you guys saw this i didn't have my sections here but now i do so the top tabs are pr tasks and this script is from growing modestly monthly weekly and lists and these um, tabs here are from um Planner Kate. It was like her um, album list thing whenever I got her um, sticker albums. So the uh, tab here, like the, I call this the cover page. This is from Sprinkled to Bets, and you'll see a couple of these in here. So I thought this was a perfect little cover for the front of the uh, planner. And then you have this, and this says, this is printed on a vellum paper, and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it says, drink coffee, read books, and be happy. And then there's a little book thing right here. And I put that behind this little paper here, and this was just something that, like an extra scrapbook paper 
that I had because I thought like the color matched pretty well and it like it blended in well. Um, and these are all from Sweet Nana Shop. So then on the back here, because this is where my PR tasks like tab begins, I put all of my PR codes right here. So this PR post script is from Hello Happiness Co. The washi that I used here is from uh, No White Space Stickers. And then all of the coffee deco is from Sweet Nana Shop. And then you see all of my codes here for my different shops. Um, and I eventually want to add my like permanent freebies. So I have some freebies that are permanent, like my Sweet Nana Shop one, which is this one. But my Sammy Lynn Planning and my Redhead Stickers freebies change. Um, my Sammy Lynn Planning one, it changes every single month. My Redhead Stickers one changes every season. So I don't know if I want to put the freebies on here necessarily, but I thought this would be good to have in case anybody was wanting to save some money. So if you are interested in saving some money off of any of these shops, then you can pause the screen or screenshot this so that you can use my code. I would highly appreciate it. Now we're getting into the PR tasks and I only have a little bit in this section and that is the specific reason I had it so that I have it a little bit in the section. So the first thing is this vellum piece. There's actually actually two. Um, the first one says never stop creating with some little flower deco here. And then the next one is just this abstract girl, like flowery girl. And I thought these were like the perfect backdrop for the pages that I have here. And I'm not going to do anything on this page because I don't want to mess up the beautiful vellum here. But um, these are going to be where I track my affiliate income for the entire year because um, as you guys know, you do have to keep track of any extra income for like tax purposes. So I thought this would be a good way for me to do that. And these are just um, brain dump happy planner pages that I cut down to size um, and punch them in. So that's where I'm going to be keeping all of that and any other PR information that I want to keep in here is going to go in this section. Then we go in to the next tab and this is my monthly tab section and this is also a dashboard from Sprinkled to Bits. And then you go into the monthly tab. Again, some vellum pages that are printed out. And I thought these all really go well together. So the first one says, do more of what you love. Then you've got another vellum that has like a coffee stain on here. And I really like the aesthetic. Like this just looks really cool to me. Um, and then behind those two vellum pieces is the like introduction page. And it says monthly plan schedule keep track. And as you can see here, these printables are from a crystal plans. So now I don't have to forget who it's from because I it's right there. So um, that is this little tab section. And then you go into the tab section that's like from the actual lights planner action inserts so you'll see these inserts are blank here um, these are from lights planner action um, and I showed those in my haul but we have the year at a glance which I didn't decorate and then we go in to the like before and if you guys saw my plan with me in my books YouTube collab loop group then you saw me decorate the March currently and then this page and also another spread that you'll see in a few minutes um, but I decided that I was going to do the sticker challenges created by bless your heart stickers on some of the extra pages back here so I did the January sticker challenge here and then this is where I do my sticker a day challenge and I really really love doing the sticker a day challenge it's just so perfect it makes me feel so happy to have that so that's the sticker a day challenge for march and then you go into april here and because it's only the beginning of april i don't have anything done for this uh, but i did put the february sticker challenge from bless your heart stickers right here so i'm not going to show you uh april's just because you literally just saw it well Probably not at the time of me uploading this video, but if you want to see the decoration, you can check out that video. Um, and then we go into May, and I did film this ahead of time because I wanted to um, show the pages. So this page is already decorated. You guys probably have just seen this decoration for the month of May, which is the um, May B6 setup. Um, but... I put the spring sticker hunt challenge created by plans in the making up from last year right here. And then because it's not May yet, I don't know what the May sticker challenge is going to be from bless your heart stickers, but that's going to go on at this side. So going into like June, for example, 
Wow, I don't know why this tab is here. Maybe it's because I wanted to show you April. It shouldn't be on today. It should be... <laughs> Let me just... My brain does not work today. Oh my gosh. Let me put this in April because that's where, that's where this needs to go. There we go. Now it's in April. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why it was there. Anyway, so when I set up June, I'm going to leave these pages kind of how I did it with um, May right here. And I'm going to leave the pages blank so that I can have that for the Sticker Hunt Challenge. Or I might just do both of them. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do as far as that goes. But that's what we've got so far in the monthly section. And then I have all of the rest of the months in here as well. So this is just what it looks like. Then you go all the way to the end of the months if I can. All right, you go all the way to the end of the month and it says like future dates and I showed this before. Um, and then it closes up that section. And then we go into the weekly section. So the weekly section has the same kind of premise as the monthly section with the two vellum pages in the front with this weekly little title. Um, this one, I switched it up so the coffee stain is in the front and then the quote is in the back and it says, don't forget shit happens. And I love that because that's just... Whew, if you guys have been keeping up with everything, it's been crazy these past few months, and I'm really hoping that April is going to be great. Um, you guys already know how April went because this video is going to be coming out in May, but yeah, so that's that's the tea. Okay, and then we have the weekly, like, this is like the introduction to the weekly tabs, and then we have all the weekly. So on the very first week of the month, I put the March tab in here, and I do have these cute little um, vellum pages in the front. So this one says, the secret to getting ahead is getting started by Mark Twain. And then I have a growing modestly little um, March journaling card that's in here because I just thought that was so cute. So this is how I started setting up all of my spreads for March. And this is the spread I was talking about when I said um, planning for March in the boop -boop -doo -boop -doo. this. We set this page up, this page up, and this before the pen up. Um, and I do have like a flip through of every after the pen spread on my Instagram reels if you want to check that out. Um, so that is all from March. We have all of the fun spreads here. I really, really love using this planner. I think it's so fun to use up all of the deco. And then we go into the first week of April. And like I said, this uh, spread this is the first week of April, so I already, like, wrote everything in here in this video. You can watch. It is on my YouTube channel. So this was the week that um, my friend came down for my other friend's wedding. So, um, like I said, I do have that tab here. So we have another April or another Growing Modestly little, what is this called? Dashboard, little journaling card. And then this is the vellum that I chose for this month because it's just like a book theme and it's got like a coffee stain around it. It's really pretty. And I thought it was like perfect to like segue your way into it. So this is all I've got so far for April. Um, but I can show you the rest of, um, like the little dividers that I have. Going into May, we have the beautiful, like this beautiful aesthetic little, um, and I like to have the vellum in front of the, what is this called, the tab? <laughs> Words are hard today. I like to have the vellum in front of the tab just so that it's easier for like me to flip through. Um, but this is like a girl with florals. She's very pretty. So that's for May. Then we go into June and June's says, don't seek happiness elsewhere, create it yourself. Um, and that is by Billion Ladies Co. Um, so that is the little divider tab that we have for June. And I don't have one for July yet. But when the time comes, I will add that in. Um, so then you go all the way. The, the tabs only go until July for me. Um, so I will have August, September, October, November, and December um, on here. So that I'll have the rest of the months here. Um, and just so you know where I keep the extra pages, I keep them in this full tab here. So we have the rest of the weekly set. And then we also have some blackout weekly pages. Um, and I, like I said, I showed those in the haul. Um, but I keep those in here just because like this is the rings planner. So I might as well keep them in here. And I thought it would be perfect for like October or just, 
in general to have if I wanted to do a blackout page rather than a regular one. So then we go into the next tabs. We have lists and this is another little dashboard from Sprinkled to Bits. And then we have the little introduction here, just like we had with the weekly. So this one says, Creativity is Intelligence Having Fun by Albert Einstein. And then behind it, we have another coffee one. And then our lists. And then we have a couple more. So this one's really hard to read um, just because it's behind like the same color. But it says, Paper is to write things down that we need to remember. Our brains are used to think. Are used to think, not used wow english is hard <laughs> um that's a quote by albert einstein as well so like i said i'm gonna probably get a piece of white paper to stick back there so that i can read that you know without having this darker thing in the back but that's a piece of vellum and then we have this self-care little um little list so that's the whole pre the whole reason why i have that here and then this was the little card that comes with, like, that came with the order. And then on the back, it has the sizes of different kind of um, planners. So I thought this would be, this would good, be good, wow, words are hard. This would be good to have back here, as well as the planner sizes one. Again, this is from Crystal Plans. And that is it for my lists area. I'm going to add more later on. I don't know what I want to put in here. Let me know if you guys have any ideas um, because I think that would be really fun for me to add more things back here. But I'm going through my playlist to add more stuff. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, and then in the back back here, we have a journaling card from Sprinkled to Bits and it is double sided. I'm thinking of using this for the month of May or maybe June um, just because it's really pretty and it reminds me like Mother's Day or something and then this is just beautiful um so I keep that back here I don't really have a specific purpose of why I keep things back here this is just another like journaling card um I have no idea what I should use these pockets for so y'all please help me out let me know what I should use these pockets for because I am terrible at pocket decoration and pocket usage so if you have any ideas please let me know I would love to hear them and I would love to find out how to use them more so that is everything. Like, I don't have anything in this pocket right here that I know of. I'm pretty sure it's empty. Oh, nope, there's something else in here. Okay, there's more journaling cards. So these are all from um, Crystal Plans as well. Um, so I didn't know I had anything in that pocket, but, you know, anyway... I want to put more things in here. I want to use this more. I want to decorate the pages more. I was thinking about putting the, um, like reward cards that I have. So I have one from Lisa Laureen Plans and then one from um, Joy of Planning. And then I also have one from Redhead Stickers that is not sitting up here because I forgot. Um, but like reward cards, maybe I was thinking of putting in here, but I'm not sure. I, I have to figure it out. But please, y'all, let me know if you have any ideas because I'm genuinely confused. I need to, I need to figure out how to decorate these. So if you have any tips at all on how to decorate this planner, please let me know. Leave them in the comments section. Reach out to me on Instagram. I am everywhere, so please let me know. But yeah, that is everything in this planner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration on how to decorate your planner more. Um, like I said, give me some ideas if you have any for different decorations, different things that I should put in the PR tasks and the list section. I would love to know your thoughts. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video as well as like letting me know all the other stuff that I asked about uh, because I do like showing like planner refreshes and showing you how I've been using a planner as I get used to it. I really really like using this planner and it's going to be very fun. I'm not very good at color blocking so I hope I'll be getting better at it soon but as of right now we're just kind of <laughs> we're just kind of going with the flow but eventually I will get back into it and I will you know I will be able to color block a little bit more but that's just how I'm rolling right now. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspirational to you. And until next time, craft on. Bye, guys.